Good morning, I got disconnected, so let's continue again, part two of this recording. Good morning, brothers and sisters. As I was saying, some people are trying to undermine the communion of Matthew 12, chapter 26, verse 26, 27, and 28, or Luke chapter 22, verse 19. We need to eat of the body of Christ, and we need to, brothers and sisters, drink of the blood of Jesus in order to renew the blood covenants that we are all under. Anyone who is teaching against that is Antichrist. And please do not be confused. I don't care how kind they are. I don't care how nice they are. You must awaken. If they don't teach about it, that's another thing. But if they were teaching about it and they refused to correct such teachings or they were teaching against it, that this was, uh, that the Luke twenty two nineteen speaks of just having Passover dinner and 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 uh, Jesus, that Jesus was speaking, that the communion that Jesus was teaching is uh, of, Catholic, of Catholic religion, of Catholicism, or has something to do with Jesuits. I pray, brothers and sisters, that you will quickly oppose such teaching and that you will, that you will rebuke such person. Because these people, glory be to Jesus, if you will not sharply rebuke them, only sharp rebuke maybe will from if one person then another then another holy spirit guiding you we don't operate under our intent is in hatred is in judgment is in condemnation we operate with love we operate with the where our intent is to save a human soul at all costs we pray for the sinner we don't hate the sinner we hate the sin we hate the demonic entities who are behind these people trying to get them to do these wicked evil deeds but at the same time let us not be twisted let us not be fools here we know how human hearts can be twisted i've seen it myself first class this past two weeks and i deal i've been dealing with it for many many years avoid psychopaths brothers and sisters and all of you who if you have ever called yourself when you were out there in the world an empath or anything like that if you were in the new age i wasn't but but the enemy was trying to intercept me with such teachings brothers and sisters you need to remember that people who become so ultra sensitive it's only because you were severe you have a ptsd that you must heal from that you must glory jesus christ of nazareth Glory be to Father, God Almighty, for the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the gift of grace for all of us, because we all must heal from something, whether it's from PTSD, from physical abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse. Sometimes there's sometimes that verbal abuse is worse than physical abuse. Even the sexual abuse. We all have experienced something horrific in our lifetimes. And if you haven't, that's beautiful. I, either way, we love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that nothing, no harm will come near your dwelling place. For he, for God puts angels in charge over us day and night, brothers and sisters, as it is written in Psalm 91. And he loves you. He, God, has forgiven you already. This is why all you have to do is claim your inheritance. Claim your present. Claim your gift, free gift of grace. As it is written in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. For by grace we are saved through faith, not that of ourselves. It is a gift of Adonai. A gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Remember God's mercy, brothers and sisters, at all times, for He loves you. He's merciful. He's loving. He's kind. And pray for your wicked, twisted family members. Pray, pray for your lost neighbors. Pray for your classmates. Pray for your brothers and sisters who are out there in the world. And we must, brothers and sisters, let me pray now in the name of Jesus. Let us greatly rejoice in the Lord of our salvation. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord of our salvation with my brothers and sisters today. And my whole being shall exalt in my God, God of Israel, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me and my brothers and sisters with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland. And as a bride adorns herself with her jewels, for as the earth brings forth shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so that the Lord God Almighty will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. 
For we shall be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in order so we can display his glory. We shall build up the ancient ruins, brothers and sisters. We shall rise up the former devastations, whether Jew or Gentile. We shall rise up from these devastations. We shall overcome the twisted, the wicked mouths of the of the of the wicked evil doers. I command them to be stilled now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May heavenly Holy Father, glory be to Jesus, cut off all wicked, twisted tongues of, uh, that are speaking against you, that are speaking against our ministries, our children our families against me against the seven angels of the seven churches against the two witnesses against Shiloh against 144,000 against the bride of Christ against our ministries against true prophets and teachers against true children of God anyone who is out there fighting fighting a good fight running a good race while others are copping out for for demonic doctrines after being on a narrow path they simply get tired and and, and, and too, too paranoid. Yes, this is belonging to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you love him, the yoke is easy, the burden is light. But if you if you consider this work, obey, obedience to Ten Commandments, being seeking Jesus Christ of Nazareth on your knees every day, you consider this work, yes, it's going to be feel like it's work for you. So you're going to seek false doctrines to support your delusion. And I pray in the name of Jesus that all of you, brothers and sisters, that all of you will come out of this delusion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I don't want any of you to perish. I don't want any of you to perish. I don't want your shame and dishonor to be double. Because God already told us that he will proclaim all that the wicked have done against true righteous children of God as double, as double, double dishonor. He will proclaim it double slaughter, double of everything as their lot. And they shall possess double portion, but we shall possess double portion of everlasting joy. And that's what's going to be, be ours forever and ever. Because we love justice and righteousness. And justice and righteousness, glory be to heavenly holy father, alleluia, are the foundations of his throne. Therefore, therefore, justice will never be far from someone who walks uprightly. You shall never be moved, my brother, my sister, for the righteous shall never ever be moved. Sometimes our humble hearts can help us more than the proud minds, brothers and sisters. For the Lord takes Jesus Christ of Nazareth, takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with salvation. What does he do with the wicked? He he uproots them, he tosses them off the face of the earth. In Jeremiah 28, 16, God says, For this year thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord, therefore the Lord thy God shall thrust you off the face of the earth. So say Yeshua, I love you. Say Yeshua, I love you. Yeshua, I love you. Yeshua, I praise you. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for your blessings. Begin afresh each new morning. Thank you for peace over our minds, bodies, souls, spirits, hearts, and DNA. I pray, Heavenly Father, that no one denies you in the name of Jesus any further in our families or any of us here gathered listening to this in the name of Jesus. For those who are transgressions and denying the Lord our God, who are turning away from following our God, who are talking oppression and revolt, conceiving lying words and uttering them from the heart brothers and sisters I, I i assure you i assure you in the name of jesus that you that they shall be punished horrifically in the name of jesus they shall stumble and fall so don't walk around like more like you are mournful and i know it's hard when you are being pierced i know it's hard when you're experiencing that pain i know it's difficult but you must trust and believe in justice and righteousness of God. And that Jesus Christ is just trying to bring brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus. Pray for your, for the harvest to be mighty right now. Do any harvest you can do. Sow seeds left and right. Speak of Jesus. Speak of salvation. Ask Father to put people in your path who are ready to be saved. People who whom you recognize someone is speaking to you. Simply brothers and sisters say hi to them. And, and just mention... If someone gives you a compliment on something, say, thank you, Jesus, give it to me. Jesus bought it for me. Jesus healed me. Just simply glorify him. Don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ, no matter what circumstances you're in. Glorify our Father God. Glorify our Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for he is. So therefore, the justice will never be far from you. The righteousness will always reach you. Righteousness will always win and prevail over twisted wickedness. For God is our good shepherd. 
He knows all of his sheep. And Jesus said, my sheep know me in John chapter 10, verse 14. Sometimes, sometimes brothers and sisters, we can, we simply have to come out of that world. And, and just in one day, you're going to be either sick of it or you're not. You either stop watching TV by now or you are extremely selective with what you're watching. And you're very choosy, very selective. I pray, brothers and sisters, that, that you will make appropriate decisions. As God, Jesus is returning very soon. We, I pray for vengeance. I pray for vindication for, for Zion, for Jerusalem. I pray for, for vindication for the bride of Christ, for those who are tortured. We praise you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We praise you. We renounce all demonic strangers against us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We, Father, you said, for I, the Lord, love justice, and I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give, give my brothers, give my children, give my brothers and sisters their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And you did for which we thank you, and we praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God Almighty. Thank you, Adonai, God of Israel, Alpha and Omega. Thank you. Thank you. May our descendants... Be known among the nations, brothers and sisters, and our offspring among the peoples. And so those, all of those who shall see them, so shall acknowledge that they are the people whom the Lord has blessed. We want to be known as the people who the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father Adonai, God of Israel, the creator of heavens, earth, and the seas, the creator of this earth, the firmament, the seas, the earth, hell, has blessed so we can greatly rejoice in the Lord with my whole being, exalting him to, in our God today, brothers and sisters. For he has clothed us with garments of our salvation. He has covered us with robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Brothers and sisters, rejoice, rejoice. So, that, so then the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of faint spirit shall be your portion every day. So rise up from the ashes, rise up, don't, don't be bitter, get, a, get rid of that bitterness, say no to bitterness in the name of Jesus. Wait for justice, wait for justice and trust and believe that it is coming, repent of your transgressions, continue walking in repentance, in meekness and humbleness is what it means to walk in your repentance, your repentance was done, detailed repentance was done, you're done. If you, unless you do something wrong, simply say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me for my sin. Forgive me that I have stolen. Forgive me that I have taken what's not mine. Forgive me for, for the bad words I've spoken. Rebuke. For that rebuke plus two others that day can save that person, can force them into thinking and reanalyzing their future or their walk, their so-called race with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We have seen the ways of the evil, but we know that we can heal them. Jesus, Jesus healed so you can heal. Jesus binded and cast out devils so can you. And God will lead them and God will repay them with, their, with his salvation. And so you will be filled with comfort. You will be repaid with comfort. The fruits of your lips, the fruits of our spirit must be love, grace, forgiveness, Love and forgiveness, first of all. Renouncing any and all kinds of idolatry at this time. Peace and peace and joy and faithfulness. Supernatural peace, joy, loving kindness, healing, love, supernatural love over your pets, over our pets, over our family members, our children, children of the world, over our enemies may prevail over the wicked lips and may any all of you who are mourning may you please come out of your mourning in the name of jesus i pray for all of our brothers and sisters who are in mourning that you will come out of your mourning in the name of jesus christ of nazareth for god said he will not continually accuse nor he will be always angry he 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 made our souls he was only angry because of the covetedness. He was, he was angry, so he struck us and he hid from us because he was angry. So let's not turn back to our old ways of being in the world if you are considering of doing that, but simply prepare the brothers and sisters for the coming deception of the mark of the beast. Prepare the brothers and sisters of what this abomination has done and is doing to the human DNA. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, glory be to Jesus, died on a cross for true human, human DNA that he has created. 
the double strand DNA that goes on and on and on, not for some demonic DNA that they're injecting into humanity. Stay away from all of this. Do not bow to Baal. Do not bow to Molech. Do not bow to Ma'amon, Mammon. Do not bow to Satan, no matter what his name is. He might trick you into bowing to him. But you remember that Jesus he goes right before you. You remember that if you are if you are single, he, you are a young, attractive lady. You cannot go around dating. There's no dating for you. You're going to either meet a husband and that day you're going to marry him or you're not. So if you want husband, pray for husband. If you don't want to, if you don't want to be single, you need partnership, pray for that. But don't go out there dating. You simply have to trust in Jesus Christ of Nazareth that there's someone for you. Same goes for you, gentlemen. Same goes for you, no matter what you are. There's a perfect lady for you. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what you have, how poor you are, or how wealthy you are. There's a perfect woman for all of you, brothers and sisters. May our Heavenly Holy Father give us zeal, zeal inside of our hearts so we can father so we can father stir up our spirits in the name of jesus so anyone who stirs up that strifa with us father will fall because of you lord jesus because anyone who stirs up strifa is far from me in the name of jesus and i want nothing to do with them in the name of jesus christ of Nazareth. so let's seek the lord while he may be found let's call upon him while while he is near jesus christ of Nazareth is still near brothers and sisters but soon he might not be some will call upon the name of the lord jesus and he might not be that close to you because some of you are going back to your old ways please brothers and sisters i know it's it can be hard the devil will be that's his job will be prosecuting you you enlisted in god's army in god's military you creating god's image of course he's going to prosecute you the moment you enlisted in god's army angelic army of course they're going to treat you like you are his warrior and they're going to try and test you at all times. He's sifting you day and night. Do not be confused. The every opportunity, be smart and wise. That's not paranoid. It's called being wise as serpent and gentle as a dove. That you, the way they recognize their opportunities, children of the devil, so much too. And you must overcome them and outsmart them. Only you can do that with the use and Holy Spirit guidance of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to Jesus. And with the spirit of spirit of spirit of wisdom from our heavenly holy father as a gift which you can only obtain as it is written in the book of proverbs brothers and sisters if if you have a fear of god for the fear of god is the beginning of wisdom brothers and sisters i wisdom live with prudence and i attain knowledge and discretion the fear of the lord is hatred of all evil and pride and arrogance in the way of evil and perverted speech, I hate. I have good advice and sound wisdom. I have insight and I have strength. By me, kings reign and rulers decree. What is just by me, rulers rule and nobles who govern rightly. For I love those who love me, says wisdom, and those who seek me diligently find me. Just as you seek Jesus, seek God's wisdom, brothers and sisters, today in the name of Jesus. For your must, you must seek her at this time and only then you shall outsmart the wicked and if you hear wisdom take heed to her warnings for the lord honors her speech for the lord honors what she conveys to the lord and what she tells him that should be done must not be done and otherwise there is there's no more anything to do the Lord takes heed to all that his seven spirits are reporting on to him. The seven, the angels that are patrolling the earth, that are here on earth right now, living as human beings, born in sin and out of sin. Those angels are speaking and reporting unto the Lord. I was shown that, brothers and sisters. You can find them. There's somewhere, there's something written about them. I believe it's in the book of um, Isaiah, chapter, between chapter 40, 41, 42. The Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth created, God Almighty created wisdom through Jesus Christ, the Word of God. At the beginning of his works, the first of his acts of long ago, ages ago, wisdom was set up at the first before the beginning of the earth. And when there was no depths 
Wisdom was brought forth when there were no springs abounding with water before the mountains had been shaped before the hills. Wisdom says, I was brought forth. When God established the heavens, wisdom says, I was there when he drew, drew a circle on the face of the deep. Very important to understand this. God drew a circle on the face of the deep. That means earth is circular and flat because also firmament is in Psalm 148, 150. You must no longer renounce a true story of God's creation, of God cre how God created the earth. We don't live on a spinning globe, a sphere that then spins through the space with hell and the heavens. We have waters below us and waters above us. God separated the waters to create, to, to, establish, the, 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 to establish the firmament and the land. Jesus Christ, God, God in the flesh, he is a master worker. He is a, our builder, and we praise you, Jesus. Let us rejoice, Heavenly Father, in the coming of your Son, in the name of Jesus. May your children listen to wisdom in the name of Jesus. May they be attentive to the words that are coming out of her mouth in the name of Jesus. Do not let your hearts turn aside to her ways and do not stray stray into her paths, the paths of the wicked brothers and sisters. I'm talking about the wicked one, Jezebel. For many are those she has laid low and numerous are her victims. Her house is the way to hell. Going down to the chambers of death is where you, none of you, none of you want to go. So my child, Keep my words and store up my commandment with you. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my teachings as the apple of the of the eye. So then the Lord in return shall make the apple of his eye in the name of Jesus. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on a tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister. And call inside your intimate friend that they may keep you from the loose woman. That Jezebel, from that adulteress with her smooth words. Renounce our thievery, brothers and sisters. Renounce our thievery. Thieves are not the spies who steal only to satisfy their appetite when they are hungry. Yet if they are caught, they will pay sevenfold. They will forfeit all the goods of their house. And yet people don't understand sometimes why they're losing things in the house. Are you currently stealing something? God is saying, please stop. No matter whether it's one dollar worth of something, please stop stealing. Please stop stealing, for God is righteous. But but that stuff cannot be stolen from people who did not steal, only from those who have stolen. And God says through wisdom, yes, it is true that such people may lose sevenfold. He will, these such people will get wounds and dishonor and disgrace will not be just wiped away, for jealousy arouses a husband's fury and he shows no restraint when he takes revenge. I'm talking about Jesus Christ here. Jesus Christ is our husband. He's my husband. And those who have stolen from me and have been stealing from me, that includes the invisible enemy in the name of Jesus. And others who they have influence, whom I forgave, but I assume that they shall make things right. I pray, brothers and sisters, that all of you shall be blessed with wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ, and that all of you shall speak life and learn life, and that our children will speak life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Return to the Lord today. For a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So let's speak softly. I know it's difficult. I know it's hard. We must have patience. I pray for a supernatural patience and we praise you, Jesus. For the field of the poor may yield much food, but it is swept away through injustice. So pray for justice. Pray for justice because all of us seems to be we are very poor. I cannot, I, I cannot get any poorer because, I mean, I, at this point, I don't know what I'm going to do with the prices in the city. I don't know what to do, brothers and sisters. I have to get a real job or, or I'm going to perish. I can't even pay for one room, one bedroom. That's the situation that I'm in. And yet, and yet, and yet, the Lord says he will provide a way. So please, brothers and sisters, just as I'm praying that you will have faith, I remind me that I must have faith, that all that I teach, I must first and foremost be myself a faithful witness. For a faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness breathes out, 
lies. I don't breathe out lies. I don't teach you lies. I teach you the narrow path. As a scoffer seeks wisdom in vain, always in vain. Those scoffers who mocked at Jesus only as this, the only begotten son of God, but they renounce him as God. They renounce him as the word of God. They renounce him as the one who is God of this earth. They seek wisdom in vain. But knowledge is easy for the one who understands. And you you seek knowledge, brothers and sisters. You therefore will understand what I'm teaching you. You will not be annoyed. You will not turn away from these teachings. So leave the presence of a fool. For there you will not find words of knowledge. And why would you listen or follow such a false prophets, false teachers? Brothers and sisters, glory be to Jesus. For he is calling you out. Please, fools mock at the guilt of offering but the upright enjoy god's favor let uh, don't you want to enjoy god's favor to the fullest the heart knows its own bitterness and no stranger shares its joy it's only gonna be your bitterness your bitterness you must say no to so say no to bitterness say no to bitterness saith the lord say no to bitterness and come and seek him Come and seek the name of Jesus. Come and sup with the name of Jesus. Come and seek God's wisdom. Come and seek Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Leave the presence of a fool. Leave, renounce that bitterness in the name of Jesus in your family, in your surroundings, at your work. Do not respond to the wicked. Do not respond to the fool that is speaking to you. For the house of the wicked is destroyed, but the tent of the upright flourishes. And if you happen to live or rent from the wicked, or someone who's there may be wicked or is foolish, Remember, remember that the Lord you will make you a living most likely uncomfortable until you move and live. But he will provide a way. He will provide a way, whether you're man or woman. He knows we cannot be out in the street, especially you ladies who are in large cities. He knows what it is in the cities where there's high crime rate, murder and rape. Oh, the devil would love that. So seek the Lord. Let's seek the Lord from now on earnestly, brothers and sisters, for it is the wisdom of the clever to understand where they go. But the folly of fools misleads. We don't want to be the fools who are misled. So let's not know. Let's recognize our own bitterness and overcome it in the name of Jesus. So our houses that we have so patiently built it as foundation and cornerstone being our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is not destroyed. For only a foolish woman destroys her house. For the crown of the wise is their wisdom, but folly is the garland of fools. A truthful witness saves lives, but the one who utters lies is a betrayer. And yet I'm the one who speaks the truth. I am being called a liar. And they act quickly, quickly tempered. And I forgive every time when they stole, I forgive. When they stole more, when they impersonated me, I forgave. And yet, I'm not a simple. But when someone tells me they didn't do it, I had to believe it because I had no reason not to believe it. And yet God tells us through wisdom in chapter 14 that the perverse get what, they, what their ways deserve. And the good, what their deeds deserve. So have faith that God will avenge you. Have faith that God will restore you and avenge you. And that God will restore sevenfold what you have blessed someone else with, whether you had it or didn't. So bless others, especially when you don't have trust that the Lord is testing you. See it as an opportunity to serve God Almighty. Please, brothers and sisters, I bless you in the name of Jesus. Have faith in Jesus. You're so beautiful. You're so awesome. And I love you. Jesus loves you. Yes, we must be wise and that's, that's what cautiousness is all about. That's what turns, our, turns us away from evil. Only the fool throws off restraints and is careless. And the one who is quick-tempered acts foolishly and, and, and the schemer is hated. And the simple are adorned, unfortunately, with what? With folly, with foolishness. But the clever are crowned with knowledge. For the evil bow down before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. So you remember that that is the evil that will bow to you, saith the Lord. Do you hear me, sister? They will come one of these days when they'll see you, how the Lord has blessed you. They will draw over your blessings. It might not be tomorrow. 
right away but i believe that it might be overnight instantaneously believe it because that's how our lord operates and he does he forgives whom he pleases he restores whom he pleases and he he also rewards whom he pleases and you we all deserve the best of the best we are all in the covenant of in the, of the blood of jesus christ of nazareth we all are walking through the valley of the shadows of death but you shall feel no evil for he is with you his rod his staff is comforting you as it's comforting me O bride of christ so speak softly for that turns away wrath and your harsh words will only stir up anger you know better than this yes the wicked plan the evil all the time we know that and those who despise their neighbors are sinners Make sure you obey the Ten Commandments. Make sure you honor your mother, your father. Yes, they might be twisted. Yes, they might have done you wrong. But they're still your mother, your father. Let God Almighty deal with them. Let take, let God. God is the one and only righteous judge on this earth. As it is written in the book of Romans. You can review this for, for that. Romans 8, 33 in particular. So confess, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, with your mouth today. Glory be to Jesus, that he is your Lord, that he is your Savior. Jesus is come in the flesh. Jesus is Lord, can be only spoken. Glory be to Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit only speaks of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, only glorifies Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, and shows us warnings, gives us warnings to come. So those of you who are the false prophets, false teachers, that, that God give you prophecies about Hollywood movies, Hollywood cartoons, and, and Obama and this and that, listen to me. It's impossible. You never spoken with the Holy Spirit. You have never ever spoken or received these dreams and or visions from the Holy Spirit. And it's time that a lot of you have become realistic that you've been communicating with demons. You think that you were not never intercepted by the devil? Only everybody else but you? Because you're so mighty and, and and listen, the moment the devil is getting you on some grandiose idea that brothers and sisters, you are given a special mission, you must keep a secret and or you must tell everybody out there in the world. Trust me, it's from the devil. If you know you have not been trained in spiritual warfare, you know you don't know Jesus Christ, you, you might feel you know Jesus Christ of Nazareth super good and intimately, but if you don't know also the tactics of the enemy and only a little bit and you consider yourself awakened, but you know there's people out there who know more, so what makes you think you right now are being chosen for that special mission, but not the two witnesses, not the seven angels of the seven churches. Yes, God chooses as he pleases. But what I'm asking you, brothers and sisters, not to shut you down. I'm simply saying, brothers and sisters, it's a tactic. If it's too good to be true and, and it's too persistent too often, it happens too often. It's the same thing and variations of it are off where you, where ego is at stake. A proud for spirit obviously is around you and it's a demonic spirit, egotistical spirit, spirit of pride, egotism, Jezebel spirits, false doctrine, false teachings. If I repeat, Holy Spirit only speaks of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, only glorifies Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All of those things that they're showing all about you being glorified by God in the near future is not done by Jesus Christ, is not shown by Adonai, God of Israel, Alpha and Omega. But it's shown by the devils, by the demons. And you must, brothers and sisters, repent of that. You must renounce those demonic spirits for you have been accepting, sort of speak. I don't want to call that a bribe, but in a way it is. Or a gift from the devils, from maybe Satan himself. You must, it happened to all of us. But you, if the devil has heard repeatedly over and over that you renounce all evil, you, you do not accept all dreams, any kind of dreams, visions, teachings, demonic doctrines, whoever perspectives from the enemy then god will honor that the devil must honor that for you use the name of jesus power authority that they must obey without questions and they know it so if you haven't done that please do this today brothers and sisters where you draw the line draw the line it is what it is what's the worst that can happen these delusions such delusions taking things from the enemy the enemy will come back for his payment you want him out of your house. You see something natural around your house. Don't laugh. Don't video your record. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus and get rid of it. Bind it with the name of Jesus. Cast it out in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus loves us, but he will claim only those who hear him. Only those 
who belong to him. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And this is why you hear him so good. If you are one of those that hears him so well, my goodness, God bless you. But don't you ever forget it, that this can be hindered, not by the enemy. The enemy doesn't control how you hear God, but God controls all of those things. God has control over the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ, who is God, only controls gifts of the Holy Spirit. The enemy cannot steal your gifts of the Holy Spirit. The enemy cannot, cannot, cannot hinder you to go to heaven. The enemy, this is why Jesus said, brothers and sisters, don't be the, afraid of the one who kills the body, but be the, afraid of the one who kills the body and the soul. Second death I'm talking about here. The enemy cannot remove, brothers and sisters, from you something that you don't have or something that he is without its reach or that he cannot perceive perversion, wickedness, evil. If God Almighty's name or Jesus Christ's name is above all names, for hollow be thy name, holy is his name. The devil cannot pronounce the name of Jesus. How on earth is he going to hear the Holy Spirit? God, Jesus says only God discerns the thoughts and hearts of man. Praise God. That means that only God can this can judge our thoughts and our hearts. So even when you pray in spirit, the, listen to me. The, the God will honor these prayers. Your prayers in your mind, God will honor. But otherwise, make sure that your mind is silent. Your mind is quiet. Glory be to Jesus. Praise you, Adonai, God of Israel. This morning, Holy Spirit, speak to your people. We praise you, Father. We praise you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're asking you for Holy Spirit guidance today. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, Father, to smite all the wicked. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that are coming against our recordings, our videos videos that are coming against our Holy Spirit guidances, letters of step-by-step -step instructions on what they will have to do when we are not here after the rapture. This is instructions that even the wicked can benefit from because it will preserve their lives. And we're hoping that, of course, they will repent. And erasing this is really foolish. It is truly foolish because bottom line is this, Spirit of Holy Spirit is the spirit of prophecy in all of us, brothers and sisters are truly prophetic you just have to get into it you have to start praising worshiping praying and simply be confident that lord jesus at your right arm lord jesus at your right at your mouth he speaks through you he speaks through your heart you know you truly have purged your heart of all evil are you working on it right now trust me you're gonna have prophetic utterances sometimes it might be just one sentence and it will be super prophetic for the days months to come sometimes it might be it might be a two or three sentences, but brothers and sisters, it will never be. It will never be page after page after page. And, and, and you know, just that that's foolish. Remember, God is our father is very on point, on target. He doesn't like long, drawn out, repetitive prayers. He it annoys him. He is all about business. He's all about his business. And we must be also, if we want to go to heaven, be all about his business carry the cross, ask to carry the cross of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All, 